I posted a video a couple days ago. I asked what you guys wanted me to talk about, and all of you said my teen pregnancy story. So let's just go ahead and dive headfirst into the sea of chaos. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Before y'all come on my post and start talking bad about teen pregnancy, don't. Some of us were just fertile little turtles and didn't know what the hell we were doing when we were kids. It's okay to have an opinion, not okay to be a dick. Anyway, here we go. So I've told you guys before that me and my husband have been together since we were 14 years old. From 14 to 16, we never used protection. I mean, ever. I know, we were stupid. I'm gonna be honest though, we're still stupid. I can't help it though, we're just in love. Anyway, back to my story. But that whole time from 14 to 16, I wasn't on any kind of birth control. And I never got pregnant. I don't know how, but damn. My mom went through my phone one night and found some not so nice text messages. So she told my dad, they got me into the OB and I had to be on the pill. And before you guys go blaming my parents, my parents were also teen parents. They were not naive, they were not stupid. I was just a bad kid. I'd put pillows underneath my sheets and I'd sneak my ass out the window. I couldn't help myself. I was just so in love with this boy. I still am. Anyway. So I get on the pill. That was the spring of 2012. So I never got pregnant from 14 to 16 without protection, but I got on the pill and by July of 2012, I was pregnant. This is how I found out. My mom started tracking my period and you could tell by the pills. We we're standing there in my room and she said, Taylor, you're 11 days late. I said, no, I didn't care. I didn't, I was dumb. She said, we're going to the dollar store and we're gonna go buy a test. I was like, yes, ma'am. We go to the store, we buy one of those little 99 cent tests. We get back home, I get in the bathroom, I do my business, and I'm sitting there waiting. Honestly, I wasn't nervous at all. I just kind of figured it would be negative. But I pick up this tiny little test and there were two lines. I opened up the door, I looked at my mom and I was like, it's two lines, we're good. She said, Taylor, what are you talking about? Two lines means positive. I was like, girl, no, you're playing. She takes the test from me, looks at it and drops to the floor. At that point, my mind went completely blank. The vibes went from not caring to what the hell. I didn't know what to think or feel. My mom had already been through something like this. So she already knew the challenges I was gonna face. But she said, let's go get another test. So me, my mom, and my sister, we all went to Kroger to go get a nicer test. We got one of those two pack ones. So when I got home, I took a test. It was positive. That next morning, I took another test. At that point, my then boyfriend, now husband, was at football practice. My dad was his football coach. <laughs> Yikes. When they got done with practice, my mom made me leave for a couple hours so she could tell my dad and so I could go tell my baby dad. So it's time to tell Chance. Chance is my then boyfriend, now husband. So I go and I pick him up. We're driving around in my little Chevy Impala and I drop the news. He was so sweet. He was like, I'll quit football. I'll get a job. We can move in together. He kept hugging me and oh my gosh, it was so sweet. He like touched my stomach. That part still gets me. But I told him I did not want him to quit football. We lived in a very small town and he was the star quarterback of the football team. I mean, kid was on the news all the time. He had an arm like none other and an ass that just didn't quit. And he still has it. Anyway, I gotta collect myself, get the drool off my chin. I already had a job at the local grocery store, but he applied once football season was over and he got the job. My family wasn't mad. They were disappointed, but oh my God, I totally forgot to tell you about how his mom reacted. That's a good one. So his mom worked on weekends. We found out on like a Thursday, I think. So we had to wait the entire weekend to tell her that I was pregnant. It was that Tuesday. I came over to hang out and we were gonna tell her the news. Chance had his head in my lap and in his head, he was just putting his head on my lap because obviously his child is in my stomach but his mom took it as being inappropriate. So she started yelling at Chance and he started yelling back and she told me that I needed to leave. I was like, okay. So I left and I guess they started yelling back and forth at each other. And she was like, you better slow down or you're gonna get that girl pregnant. He said, it's too late, she's already pregnant. And then she called me and told me to get my ass back over there. So we sat down, we cried, but we all calmed down and we had a really good talk. Me and Chance got jobs. And once we found out we were having a boy, my dad was so excited. He kept telling me, you better give me a grandson. My dad's a football coach, so you should have seen his excitement. <laughs> we both made the choice to stay in school. We had the option to homeschool, but we decided that we wanted to graduate with our classes. I was a grade ahead chance. He was a sophomore, I was a junior. We honestly had so much support between our family, the staff at the school, our friends. But unfortunately, with that came a lot of backlash. I got called every name in the book. Chance was getting made fun of from other football teams. People would literally waddle 
behind me in school. And this one teacher made me get a doctor's note so I could go to the bathroom anytime I wanted. I guess the giant boulder under my shirt wasn't enough evidence for him. It was Christmas day and Chance proposed to me. He even got me a ring. I was so excited. I mean, he was so excited. I thought other people were gonna support that. Two people who loved each other and were having a baby wanted to get married. But of course, we got made fun of for it. And Chance completely backed away from me. And he started doing some shady things behind my back. I mean, the pressures of life just made him fold. When I say shady things, I mean girls, drugs, drinking and driving. I mean, he was really falling apart. The guy who had never hurt me before was literally breaking my heart. But he hit a low. Him and his mom got into it one night. He moved out of her house and he moved in with me and my family. I chose to forgive him for everything that he did and we both just agreed to start over. I'm gonna show you guys some pictures. Oh my God, I love this picture so much. By this time I was super pregnant. My husband and my brother both went to go play basketball. Me, my mom, and my sister, we went to Walmart to go get my oil changed. We were walking around Walmart, and I don't know why, but I felt the reason to do a high kick. I was like, maybe I'll go into labor. And then I started feeling weird. We walked around a little bit more. I thought maybe it was just a little cramp. But then I started to have to sit down. I had never felt anything like that before. We were back in the auto section at Walmart. I was literally laying on a shelf. And my mom was like, are you guys done yet? I think my daughter's in labor. They finally got done with my car and we headed home. I felt like I couldn't breathe. These contractions were taking my breath away, but I wanted to wait a little longer just to make sure it was the real deal. I got in the bathroom, I shaved, and for some reason, the bath made it worse. My brother and Chance were both still playing basketball. So my mom decided to call Chance. She said, hey, um, I think it's time. By this time, I was rolling around the floor butt naked just begging for mercy. That shit hurt. But he gets home and we head to the hospital. He hadn't had a thing to eat, so he made a stop at Wendy's. During my contractions, to say I was yelling was an understatement. He got called every name in the book and honey, I'm so sorry for that. It wasn't me, it was the labor. But we get to the hospital. The nurse told Chan, she said, make sure she's breathing. Chan said, babe, you gotta breathe. I distinctly remember me snatching the soul from his being and telling him to mind his business. I was so mean. I made him cry. He literally went to the bathroom and started crying. I was in like a little triage room. The chance went to the bathroom to like cry. And my mom like peeked her head in there. She's like, she's getting her epidural soon. Like it's gonna be okay. He was like, I don't know why she has to be so mean to me. <laughs> and I remember her saying like, it's okay. Like, let's just come out here and support her. This is all normal. So they take me to the delivery room where I finally get the epidural. At this point, I was begging for the juice. This child was ripping me from the inside out. But once I got it, my soul was at ease. I apologized to everybody I was mean to. My family, the doctors, the nurses. They were like, it's okay, like it's normal. It happens here all the time. But then the epidural wore off. Yeah, it wore off. And I was dilated to 10. It took all the strength in my body and 45 minutes to push my son's noggin out. After all the sweat, blood, and tears, my beautiful baby boy was born. Go to the next video for pictures. March 24th of 2013. A little seven and a half, 19 and a half little boy was put in my life. We named him Chase and Joseph Fry. Chance's dad's name was Jason. So we mixed the names Chance and Jason together. His middle name Joseph after my dad and my brother. It was one of the hardest things I ever did, but it was 110% and without a doubt worth it. Here's some pictures. This is me once I got the juice. This was me when it wore off and I thought I was gonna die. Also Chance still has a scar on his hand from where I bit him. And here's when he was born. Also, please ignore me. I mean, the pure agony on my face was just, look at my little muffin pup. This was us in the recovery room. This was after his first bath. Oh my God, I'm getting so sad. Things were tough, but they were good for a while. Mine and Chance's relationship was so rocky and it stayed that way for a number of years. We broke up, got back together, broke up, got back together but we always came back to each other. I like to say we defeated the odds. We graduated high school, we stayed together, but I'm just gonna tell you right now, it was not an easy ride. I would not take my son back for anything. He's one of the best things that ever happened to me. I was going down a bad path before I got pregnant with him and he saved my life. But I don't recommend teenage pregnancy. We've never been dealt the easiest cards, but we always took the hand and we tried to find a way to win. If y'all have any questions, ask away and I'm more than willing to answer. Or if you even have any advice, I'm your girl. I love you guys so much. And thank you for supporting me along with this journey. I still don't even know why y'all like me, but I love you for it. Stay tuned for more story times.
By the way, this is my son now. He's seven and he will be eight in March. 